Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we continue to have reports uh, as we are Monday, um, almost a week after the release of the um, Patch Tuesday security updates. Uh, we continue to have reports that um, Windows 11 22H2, 23H2 users are having a lot of uh, issues uh, with the Patch Tuesday update for now. Um, I know a lot of you on the channel said uh, they had no problem. I have no problem either. I'm on 24H2, though, and even my 23H2 um, unsupported laptop doesn't have any issues. So um, I think it's really, you know, more than usual, but not necessarily everyone, that's for sure. Uh, it's just higher than the background noise that I like to call uh, for the update. So... Um, Still nothing out of Microsoft concerning um, problems. Um, usually they are slow in reacting to anything that is, you know, issues. I've had a lot of people come back to me because some of you did come back to me saying, yes, I have issues. Um, I got a couple of users, of viewers that said that they have problems now with games, playing games. There's a lot of lag and, and uh, it doesn't work well since that update is there. I've had a few that say that the update didn't want to install. I did give a trick. Once again, look at my videos. There's a one of the videos where I show you where to download it manually. Uh, a lot of people that couldn't install it with Windows updates say that the manual way did work. So downloading the update from the Microsoft Update catalog does work for most. Um, I did see some that say the manual uh, download didn't work either. So uh, obviously there's something going on, um, but the majority of people still have it fine, uh, like me, uh, but there is a higher number than usual of problems. Some uh, mentioned that they've had blue screens. Uh, I did see a couple of comments in the, uh, in the uh, comment section of people saying that they had that problem where the CPU stuck at 100% usage and the computer is like really going slow because of that. Um, once again, you can always go and remove the update uh, and uninstall it or you can use, if you have uh, the um, system restore um, working on your PC, you can always go back in time the system restore before the update. Um, and, you know, just put a halt on the updates if your PC is really bogged down by all of this. Um, it's really sad because at the same time, it contains a fix, a few fixes for really critical flaws that are easy to exploit. So you don't want to, you know, stay without it uh, too long. But uh, we'll see what happens and we'll see if Microsoft reacts. And this is the biggest problem of Microsoft. When somebody declares there's an issue... You know, unless everybody has a problem, it always takes a long time for Microsoft to acknowledge anything. So I'm following it. Um, for those of you that have issues, if there is any issues or if there is any fixes or anything from Microsoft, I will follow up with another video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.